Joe Rogan says he knows the real reason why the Jake Paul fight was canceled. Most likely that was canceled uh, for numerous reasons that may have been one of them. But the allegations that I'm hearing are that they sold so few tickets that it would be a real problem in terms of like financially to even break even. Because they what Dana White said that he had heard they had only sold a million dollars worth of tickets. If you want to turn the lights on in Madison Square Garden, it costs a half a million dollars. You, you have to sell a lot of fucking tickets if you want to make some money in Madison Square Garden. And if you want to make money on pay-per-view, there's a threshold. Like, say, uh, up until like 100,000 buys, depending on what the deal is, you might not make any money. And then after 100,000 buys, then you start making money. And who the fuck wanted to see that fight? The boxing world held its breath when the audacious YouTuber Jake Paul secured a fight with the legendary Mike Tyson. It was a clash of eras, a maverick internet personality stepping into the ring with a heavyweight icon whose ferocity was the stuff of nightmares. But the dream match might be over before it even began. It's interesting because he could stop me. He has that power. I have that one-punch power. You're brave, brother. You're brave. Yeah, I'm You're brave. Like... <laughs> no, no. I, I, okay, I'm a big dude and stuff like that. But bro, I don't. I don't care if he's 90, bro. I don't know if I can step up, step in the in the ring with him. Don't whatever I'm saying. I know with a, with a lion, a dog, like someone who wants to rip your heart out. Literally, that's his mindset going into these. The the last thing to go is the power. Everyone yes. in the sport knows that, and that's his number one asset. So he's still gonna have the Mike Tyson power. One of the great greatest heavyweights of all time, if not the greatest of all time. It's just really a dream. And the true. reason lies in a Las Vegas gym. News broke that during a heated sparring session, Tyson unleashed a vintage right hook, sending Paul crashing to the canvas in a clean knockout. This wasn't a playful tap. It was a glimpse of Iron Mike still lurking beneath the surface. The internet went into meltdown. Memes flooded social media with fight fans both celebrating Tyson's resurgence and questioning Paul's sanity forever considering the fight. According to sources close to Paul's camp, the KO has thrown a significant wrench into the fight plans. While Paul initially brushed off the incident as a learning experience, the reality seems to be sinking in. Sources close to Tyson's camp claim that things started off on a relatively even keel. Both fighters were landing punches, with Paul showcasing his improved technique. However, it all went south when Paul, known for his online persona, allegedly made a playful, or perhaps not so playful, jab at Tyson. The details of the taunt are murky, but some reports suggest it involved a reference to Tyson's age or a past boxing mishap. Whatever it was, it struck a nerve. Iron Mike ignited. The playful taunt triggered a switch in Tyson. The legendary boxer, known for his short temper, is said to have become visibly angry. The playful sparring session morphed into a fierce exchange. Punches flew with more intensity, and the atmosphere in the gym grew thick with tension. The knockout punch. The escalation culminated in a devastating right hook from Tyson. The punch, reminiscent of his prime fighting days, landed flush on Paul's jaw, sending him crashing to the canvas in a clean knockout. The silence in the gym was reportedly deafening, broken only by the gasps of the stunned onlookers. Aftermath and uncertainty. The aftermath of the KO is shrouded in some secrecy. Paul's camp downplays the incident, calling it a learning experience and a reminder to respect Tyson's power. However, the severity of the knockout and the anger it provoked in Tyson have thrown the entire fight into question. The news of Jake Paul being knocked out by Mike Tyson during sparring sent shockwaves through the boxing world. Now Paul's camp is throwing out the renegotiating contracts card, but whispers suggest a more sinister motive, cold feet. Here's why this renegotiation might be a smokescreen. Let's be honest, getting flatlined by a 58-year-old Tyson is a massive blow to Paul's carefully cultivated image. The narrative of the young, brash internet star taking on a legend was already a stretch. Now, the potential for a humiliating defeat on a massive platform looms large. Paul's reputation is built on calculated risks and emerging victorious. A brutal knockout by Tyson could be a career-defining setback. It's not unreasonable to believe Paul might be exploring ways to back out of the fight 
without losing face. Paul's team can claim renegotiation all they want, but actions speak louder. If Paul truly wants the fight, he'll step into the ring, KO or not. The sudden need to renegotiate reeks of hesitation, and the boxing world will be watching closely to see if this is a genuine attempt to alter the deal or a strategic retreat disguised as business as usual. You're talking about being in fighting condition. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's a rare state, and you can't yeah. keep it for very long. No, it is just... People need to understand that, right? The emotional state to prepare for that is... The over Ooh, mind-boggling. Yeah. Well, that's what I was seeing when I was seeing you hit the pads. I'm like, this isn't just working out. There was something going on, man. When you were working out with Cordero and you yeah. ripping to the body and throwing those hooks, I was like, this is a man who's preparing to go to combat. This is not normal getting ready to work out shit. That's why when I saw that video, I was like, oh. Want me to tell you something uh, about that video? Yeah. I did that video and I was in bed for a week. <laughs> that was 30 seconds and I was in bed for a week. <laughs> And it's not funny because it made me realize that this is this is this is big boy Serious. shit, okay? Boy. There you go. <laughs> they say an old dog can't learn new tricks, rumbles Mike Tyson, his voice still carrying the weight of countless victories. We're sitting in his training gym, the faint smell of sweat and liniment hanging in the air. It's been a while since Tyson graced the ring professionally. But a recent sparring session with YouTuber turned boxer Jake Paul has reignited a fire in the 58 year old legend. Let me tell you, Tyson continues, a glint in his eye, knocking that young fella out was easier than drinking a glass of water. He was fast, I'll give him that, but there's a difference between speed and power. And power, he slams his fist on the table, the sound echoing. That's something that comes from years of dedication, of pushing yourself to the limit. The limit, it seems, is a word Tyson has redefined. Since the sparring session, whispers of a potential comeback fight have swirled around him. Whether it's Paul again or another opponent, Tyson isn't phased. In fact, he seems energized by the prospect. I saw something in the gym that day, he admits. A hunger I thought I'd lost. Maybe it was the disrespect in that kid's eyes. Maybe it was the roar of the crowd. Whatever it was, it lit a fire under me. And that fire is evident in his training regimen. Gone are the days of late nights and partying. Tyson is back in the gym at the crack of dawn, pushing himself harder than ever. These young fighters, he scoffs. They think boxing is all about social media and trash talk. They forget what it takes to step into the ring to stare down your opponent knowing one wrong move could put you down for the count. Tyson's trainer, a wiry man with a calm demeanor, smiles knowingly. Mike's a different beast when he's focused like this. He's not just training his body, he's training his mind. He's remembering that killer instinct that made him Iron Mike in the first place. Listen. Mike Tyson leans back in his chair, a playful glint in his eye. They say knocking out some young fella is supposed to be something special. But let me tell you, that Jake Paul, taking him down was easier than gulping down a glass of water on a hot day. A chuckle erupts from his chest, deep and rumbling. Don't get me wrong, kid had some moves. He was quick, I'll give him that. But boxing ain't all about fancy footwork and YouTube highlights. It's about digging deep, about putting in the work when nobody's watching. It's about having the heart of a lion in that ring. He raises a calloused eyebrow. Now, maybe I surprised myself a bit out there. Maybe there's still some fight left in this old dog. But one thing's for sure, that little taste of competition got the blood pumping. Reminded me why I stepped into the ring all those years ago. The roar of the crowd, the sting of the punches, the sweet taste of victory. It's a feeling unlike any other. A smile stretches across Tyson's face the one that used to send shivers down opponent's spines. So, all this talk about a comeback? Well, let's just say Iron Mike don't shy away from a challenge. If someone wants a piece of this, they better be damn sure they can handle it because climbing into the ring with me ain't no walk in the park. It's a test of will, a battle of strategy, and a dance with danger. You gotta be ready for anything when you step in there with Iron Mike. Tyson leans forward, his voice dropping to a low growl. They say father time is undefeated. Maybe that's true for most folks, but this old dog's got a few more tricks up his sleeve. I ain't done yet, not by a long shot. Sign the contract, big boy. Sign the contract. No problem. Saturday.
July 20th. See you there, buddy. I don't look at life as being age. I look at life as energy. And you don't bring your age to the table. You bring your energy to the table. You don't go meet people, hey, I'm Bob, I'm 59. You don't do that. You say, I'm Bob, I'm such and such, and you do it with enthusiasm, too, because enthusiasm is contagious, and you want the same response. The world is still reeling from the aftermath of the sparring session between Jake Paul and Mike Tyson. News of the knockout sent shockwaves through the industry, leaving many wondering about Paul's future. However, the controversial YouTuber isn't backing down. In a recent interview, Paul displayed a steely resolve, vowing to learn from the experience and ultimately defeat the legendary Iron Mike. Getting knocked out by Mike Tyson stings, Paul admitted, his voice devoid of excuses. There's no denying his power. That right hook felt like a freight train. But here's the thing. I woke up the next day. My body ached but my spirit was unbroken. Paul, known for his brash confidence, isn't letting the defeat define him. Instead, he sees it as a harsh lesson, a brutal wake-up call. I underestimated him, he confessed. I thought I could walk in there and outbox him, but Tyson's a predator. He smells weakness and I gave him a whiff. However, the bravado quickly transitioned into a determined glint in Paul's eyes. This isn't over, he declared. This is just the beginning. I'm going back to the gym, harder than ever before. I'm going to study Tyson's every move, his every weakness. I'm going to add power to my speed, sharpen my technique, and become a fighter Mike Tyson won't see coming. The interview took a fiery turn as Paul directly addressed Tyson. You might have knocked me down, Mike, he said, his voice rising, but you haven't broken me. You want a rematch? You'll get one, but next time... It'll be different. Next time, I'll be the one standing tall. Some might scoff at Paul's bravado, dismissing it as the ramblings of a defeated opponent. However, Paul has a history of defying expectations. He's built his career on taking calculated risks and emerging victorious. This might be his biggest challenge yet, but Paul seems to relish the opportunity. This isn't just about me anymore, he explained. This is about proving the doubters wrong. This is about showing everyone that with hard work and dedication, anything is possible. You can call me crazy, you can call me delusional, but one thing's for sure. I'm not giving up on this dream. I will beat Mikey Thiessen. It might not be tomorrow, it might not be next year. But one day, I'll stand in that ring and raise my hand in victory. Mark my words. Ah, uh, Jake Paul, chuckled Thiessen, his voice booming with a hint of amusement. Good kid. Got some moves, but let me tell you something, even at 90, with a walker and a bad hip, I reckon I could still take him down. The audience erupted in laughter, unsure if Tyson was joking or serious. A sly grin spread across his face as he winked at the camera. Maybe not with the same ferocity as back in the day, he continued. But hey, experience counts for something, right? Besides, a little competition keeps the blood pumping. Keeps this old dog young, you know? It's hard to decipher the true meaning behind Tyson's words. Perhaps it's a playful dig at Paul's bravado. A reminder of the immense power gap between them. On the other hand, it could be a subtle way of keeping the pressure on Paul. A way of saying, don't get too comfortable thinking you can pull off an upset. Whatever the intention, one thing is clear. Mike Tyson isn't taking himself too seriously. He seems to be enjoying the renewed attention, the buzz surrounding a potential rematch. Whether it's a playful prod or a veiled threat, Tyson's comments have certainly added another layer of intrigue to this unlikely boxing saga. The internet, of course, is having a field day. Memes comparing Tyson with a walker to a spry boxer are flooding social media. Some believe it's a light-hearted joke. Others see it as a not-so-subtle warning to Paul. Regardless, Tyson's playful jab has successfully reignited the conversation about this potential fight, leaving fans eager to see if this David versus Goliath showdown will ever come to fruition. Hey man, Mike Tyson's 57 years old. That man is 57 years old. I know based off that little clip that I just seen, I, shit, I wouldn't be getting in the ring with him. He moving like that at almost 60 years old? Hell no. Absolutely not. Let's be real. You know, I know Tyson's doing this for a check. 
I respect it. You know what I'm saying? But if he did want to go out there and beat them, like, he can beat them, of course. But if he really wanted to just go out there and beat them, all he got to do is blitz them like that, man. Because all it takes is for one of them hooks to land, and it's a wrap, you know. I'm sure he couldn't fight like that the whole fight or whatever. He probably only got, like, one good round in him because he's damn near 60. But, yeah, if he came out like that, swinging like that, oh, shit. One hit, lights out for Jake. But me personally, nah. -uh. I'm not a risk taker. I'm not even taking a chance of getting hit with one of them hooks. Hell no.